so I am back with my Friday favorites. I have to make a huge apology. I feel like I'm letting you guys down lately. I really, really apologize. Um, my nighttime skincare routine was supposed to go up yesterday and I filmed it. I filmed it twice and the lighting in my bathroom is so bad. It is so bad. Like I'm, I'm being honest here. I actually take my moisturizer and anything I do at night or in the morning, I take it in here into my bedroom because there's actual windows and there's actual lights that I can see. This apartment is really, really dark and I cannot wait to move because I can't see anything ever. So I literally, the video turned out awful. Like you couldn't even see what I was doing. There was weird shadows all over. Um, so I didn't want to put it up because it was a bad video. I, I don't want to put up a bad, bad video for you guys. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going home this weekend for Labor Day um, in Illinois and my parents have the most amazing bathroom ever. They have like huge windows all around, amazing lighting. It's huge. There's so much space. It might be a little echoey in there, but it is a great space for me to film my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm going to bring everything down and film it and get it up for you guys next week. So I hope you guys are okay with that um, and it will be a good video. I promise you it will be a good one. Okay, moving on to my Friday favorites. Um, one of my favorites is actually the look that I'm wearing right now. Um, it's a such a pretty look. I just love this look right now. I've worn it a couple times this week and I actually filmed a tutorial on it and that will be up on Monday. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. A couple of the products that I talk about today is because of this look. So they are part of this look, but the entire look and tutorial for it um, will be up on Monday in case you are interested in watching that. But I have just really, I have four products. I don't really have that much today and I'm being so rambly too, so I apologize. I'm just chit chatty today, I guess. Um, but I only have four products and yeah, I didn't really love that much this week. Um, just been sticking to normal basic things. Um, this look I rocked a couple times. One day I didn't wear makeup, so that's that's my week. So let's go ahead. I'm going to stop rambling and let's talk about the first thing. And the first thing is a foundation. And I didn't like this foundation when I first got it and started wearing it. I kind of, I don't know, I just, I wasn't into it. I was into my bare minerals at the time and I just didn't grab for it. It was just I don't know. I just didn't wear it. But I think this tool that I'm going to show you helps me like it more. And the foundation is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. Um, it's just a tad, I don't know. It's just, it's okay. It's not horrible. It's not awful, but I just, I don't know. There's just something about it that I just don't love about it, but I've been wearing it, um, with the beauty blender and, ugh, this thing makes any foundation just so amazing. It just makes it so much better. Um, I started using this first with a brush and I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the way it wore. I didn't like the way it looked on my skin. Um, I thought it looked kind of, I guess, chalky and dry in places, which this is a luminous foundation. You think my skin would look glowy and luminous, but it made it look chalky and weird and I didn't like that but then I started using it with the beauty blender and it was amazing and I love it and I'm wearing it today um and I really like it I think it's a good one I am in the shade N3 which is natural buff um so I like this foundation I think it's a good one um but only with the beauty blender I don't like it with a brush just with the beauty blender so these two are really, really great and I've been loving them all week. The blush that I'm back to and I keep going back to, it is my favorite MAC blush by far. I have a lot of blush. I have a ton of blush and I think this blush might be my all time favorite of all time. I know, that's a huge statement. That is one huge statement right there. But I said it and I mean it. And this is the MAC Sheer Tone Blush in Pinch Me. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the beautiful, I don't even know, what is that? Peachy, rosy color. Um, it wears so pretty on my cheeks. I'm wearing it today. I just love it. And every time I have worn this, I get compliments. 
I've been, I never get compliments on my blush, but I get compliments when I wear this one. And I just love it. It's a great formula. It's a beautiful color. It's going to be a great color, I think, for fall because it's not too deep, um, so lighter skin tones can't wear it. But it's a deep enough color that just gives you kind of that fall fallish effect, if you know what I mean. But I really love this blush. It is my absolute all-time favorite blush of all time. I said it. It's the best. And I pull it out this week and I can't stop wearing it. It's good. Now, the lipstick that I'm wearing, you're probably wondering, this is Max Twig. I had bought this so long ago and I don't know why I bought it. I Honestly, I don't know why I bought it. And I pulled it out and I was like, hmm, what can I do with you? What can I do to make you beautiful? I put it on and I was like, I love this. Why haven't I never, I've worn it like twice before and I love this lipstick. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful brown mauve, I guess. It has a little bit of mauve, I don't know. Um, it's more, it's definitely brown. Um, it has a deep brown tone to it, but I think it's just a really pretty deep color. Um, like I said, I think it's a great transitional one from summer to fall here because in the fall time, I'm going to want to wear like vampy colors and deep berry colors and I'm so ready for that. But right now I just can't wear that. So this is a good kind of transition into those beautiful deep berry colors. So I really like this color and this is a satin finish and I don't think I've ever, this is my only satin finish lipstick and I actually really like it. Like I like the way it feels. Um, it kind of almost feels a little bit matte to me and a little bit drying but I kind of like that with this deeper lip because I feel like it lasts longer then. So I love this lipstick. It's a really good one um, from MAC. So Twig is a one to pick up. Okay, and the last thing is what's on my nails right now, and I painted them last night, and I forgot how much I love this color, and this is going to be a great one for the fall. And I know I keep talking about fall, but I'm just so excited for fall. Fall is by far my favorite season of the year. It's when you start to cool down. It's when all the leaves start changing. The colors are just my favorite. They are my favorite of, I wish we could have fall colors all year round, because that would be just my favorite. I love layering but not being too bulky. I don't know. Fall is just the best. So anyways, anyways, my nail color. This is the color Armed and Ready and it's a really pretty olive color um, but it has like a shine to it and it has like a gold, I guess a gold sheen to it. It's so pretty. It's almost, to me, it almost looks like a deep gray but it definitely has that like olive tone to it. Oh, I just love this one. It's so pretty. It's perfect for fall. It's that perfect fall palette color. Oh, I just love fall colors. I'm so excited to wear them. But this one's a really good one to pick up for the fall time because it's just a really pretty color. It's fun for your nails. So armed and ready. Okay guys, so that is it for my Friday favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely look for that tutorial on Monday and then my skincare routine finally on Thursday. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great Labor Day weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.